How are you doing out there? Hey, what you're seeing are gnats. These little gnats are crawling all over this counter. And these are the ones that aren't flying around the room. Now, it's not practical to take your bug spray and run around the room trying to chase them down flying around. The best thing to do is to attract them to one location where you can spray them down. I'm going to show you what those devices are. Now I have found that gnats are strongly attracted to citrus or fruits, some more than others. What you just saw is watermelon. It was placed on this plate and of course it was eaten and then I put the rind in the sink because I knew it would attract them. It also attracted them to this plate that the watermelon was on and dripping on. So I left the plate out as well. I also noticed that they are attracted to lemons, lemon peels, and oranges the most. So those are two other ways you can go on attracting them. Once you attract them to the location, then you prepared to spray them with your insect spray and keep that out close by but not close to the items that you're trying to attract them to. You can clearly see here that these gnats are strongly attracted to the watermelon drippings and this is a good thing. Now here is an item that works really well. They love apple cider vinegar. It takes a little longer than it would if you were using any citrus type fruits, but it works very well and it's probably a little bit more convenient to use and you put it in a jar <clears throat> or any other type of uh, container that you don't mind spraying uh, insect spray in, but make sure you clean that item out if you're going to eat out of it. What you have been seeing in these pictures here I'm filling the uh, jar or item with the apple cider vinegar and then go off and do something at least for an hour. It may take even longer than that. Depends on how many are in the room and how hungry they are. So you fill up the item, the jar, put the apple cider vinegar in a location that you cannot move. When you come back you have to have the spray and spray. They'll just dart away if you try to move the item. Then I clean the item out with soap and water and then I'll refill it with apple cider vinegar again, put it in my location and go away for an hour or longer until they start attracting to it again and then I will spray them once again. You repeat this until you finally get rid of them and it does take time. Hopefully you can see those little guys. They're sitting on the rim or they're trying to go inside the glass. And what it, what I've noticed about it is they fly on the rim of the glass and they'll take their time and they'll slowly go down the edge of the glass until finally they'll fall in to the liquid, the apple cider vinegar, and they end up drowning. They're stuck in there and then you just come along and spray them, clean out the jar, do it all over again. See how many have fallen into this glass and you just repeat the process until finally you don't have so many of these guys flying around or crawling around the cabinets. It really is amazing how well this product works. Again, your citrus fruits will work too, so if you happen to have eaten an orange and left a little of it behind, leave a wedge, you can leave it out in the sink, and when you come up, you can spray the uh, bugs with the insecticide spray. But, like I said, this works really well. You can see how they're attracted to the product of the apple cider vinegar. They, You just keep repeating, you know, you spray the jar or glass, empty it out and then 
start all over again and you just keep repeating it. it I think this took me uh, some three to five days. I, I don't know where they came from, but they just bred like crazy. And I did this and got rid of them in about a week. After eliminating many of them, I went from the glass and got a little four ounce pudding cup. And you can see here, just shake up the apple cider vinegar pour a little bit in there and pick up the jar and swirl it around so that the stuff comes around the edges which will further attract them to the edge and then to come down the edge of the pudding glass and before you know it an hour or three later you'll see them floating around in there there are many brands of this and the one I have I got from Whole Foods Market it says organic apple cider vinegar. I'm sure any brand will do. This is the one I just happen to have in the house. You can see just how brave these guys are. Normally a gnat will take off immediately, but this guy is just playing around with the camera. Here you can see I've got it all down to like two or three gnats left. And it was great not to walk through the room and have these guys flying around in my face or while I'm working at my desk. So you give this a try and like I said you just keep a little bit in the container, swirl it around, go away for at least an hour, come back, be ready to spray, clean it out, do it again, repeat and just keep doing it again until you find that you've gotten them all. You know, if you have kids or pets, this is a very controlled situation where you can get them all into one location like this and just spray that location. And when you finally get rid of all of the gnats, you can just clean that area, sterilize it, and you don't have the insecticide sprayed all over the floors, all over the walls and everything. Now I live in an apartment and I'll tell you the management system company that we have here is negligent as far as I'm concerned. Um, this seems to repeat just about every year and although I've said something to them in the past they just tell you well we'll look into it. I don't know if they're coming from the planters outside if there's some yearly uh, seasonal thing but they just keep coming. By the time I noticed just one or two, I would just used to just spray until I discovered that this worked. And how I even discovered that is when I would have a lemon or an orange peel in the sink, um, because I usually let it go down the garbage disposal so that it has that nicer scent, uh, I started to notice that these guys were hanging on those uh, rinds and that's when I got the idea to use fruits and then I found out that apple cider vinegar works very well too and it's a little bit more convenient. Well by now you can see that I've gotten it down to just two or three gnats and there's none flying around my desk or through my room. The only ones that survived are these guys here that you can barely see on the edge of this bowl. Well I hope this little trick helps you. Uh, hopefully you'll give it a thumbs up if you liked the video. Give me any indication in the comment section of if you like me to do more videos like this one. Your comments and suggestions will be most appreciated. I hope you're subscribed. Click that bell so that you get the notification whenever a new video comes out. And I'll see you in the next one.